Hi, how you doing? I'm about to uh, light up my grill for a low and slow. Low and slow. I'm going to do a uh, going to do a brisket, and I just thought it wouldn't be a bad idea to show you how I do. I call them Shaggy's balls. I have a friend of mine who is a uh, that bears a striking resemblance to the cartoon character. So I take a handful of cotton balls, 100% cotton. Take a handful, stuff them in there. Take 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol, so just rubbing alcohol. And uh, there we are, on on glaze. Uh, and we uh, dump that in there. And just put, uh, just put enough that everything's going to get a little bit. You don't want them soaked. You don't need a, a ton on there. Uh, the fact is, when you use this to start your grill, you want it to be odorless, tasteless, all that stuff. And this accomplishes that. By the time you're done... With these, they uh, they don't leave any odor, they don't leave any taste, they just, uh, it's all natural and it just goes away. So uh, that's how we set it up, and I will show you in just a second, I will show you how I use them to start the grill. So it's a sunny day, I'm hoping the light and shadow doesn't get too much in the way, but uh, as you can see I've got charcoal on this side nothing on that side because I'm gonna try and do the smoke as best I can let the smoke happen take a few of these balls so you don't you don't need many two or three just place them underneath place them underneath the charcoal in a couple different spots and then light them up and what happens is you get a few uh, see now here I am with a lighter what happens once I light these is you get a few um, you get a few uh, uh, bits of charcoal going, so you get a nice slow rise to the temperature you're looking for. So when you're doing low and slow, this is an ideal way to start, is uh, with this setup. And uh, give me one sec to find a lighter, and I'll show you how that goes. So, of course, I've got all the vents open, and I just uh, spark these up. One, you just you don't even have to really get close to them with the, uh, with the lighter, and they'll uh, spark right up. And they'll just uh, they'll just catch and they'll just go. There we are. Okay, and and as I say, I mean that'll catch a couple of briquettes and the uh, flame will spread from there. I have a couple of pieces of uh, lump that I've been soaking for a while. Just going to place them around. And as I mean, the the hope is that as uh, as the uh, fire spreads, the lumps will catch. And this is uh, pecan. So uh, lumps will catch, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get some good smoke coming out of that too. So this is for a brisket. So we're all set. Now on top of that, what I do is I set. I bought the bottom grill. This is an acorn smoker, and the bottom grill of a Weber. Uh, so it's the charcoal grate from a Weber. You can buy it as a replacement. It doesn't cost much. Just wrap it with uh, foil, and that'll guarantee that as the draft comes, we'll get uh, indirect heat. And then I put a little drip tray on there, even though the drip tray doesn't gen generally tend to catch most of the stuff. And uh, shortly I'll be ready to throw the brisket right on there. See you later.